Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello guys, this is Second Gentleman. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error. So let me just power on my device and show you what exactly I'm facing. So as you can see, I have this custom binary blocked by FEP. So in order to fix this without deleting any of your data, what you have to do is first if your phone is non-removable battery, then you have to hold down volume down button and power button for 30 seconds until your phone shuts down. If your device is removable removable battery, then you have to remove it manually. Once that is done, so on your computer, what you have to do is, is to type boycracked.com. The link is going to be on the description. So once you, once you have access to this website, Input your model number, in my case it is SMJ500F, press search, then find the one that corresponds to your model number, then scroll down and make sure that if your device was Lollipop 5.1.1, then you have to download that, that corresponds to your region as well. However, if your device is Marshmallow 6.0.1, then what you have to do is, is to close this window and type mrcracked.net. And from here, you have to input your model number, and then you should, so I'm just going to show you an example here. So once you have inputted your model number, press the first link or the one that corresponds to your model number, close the ad, then input your country code, so XSG in my case, then you can pick the latest one. So now you have to download a stock ROM that corresponds to your model number and the Android version. So once that is done and you have downloaded the Odin and stock ROM, what you have to do on your device is, if your device is non-removable battery, then you have to hold volume down button and power button for 30 seconds until the screen is turned off. If in your case, or in my case for example, if it's a removable battery, then you have to remove it. Now once that is done, hold down volume down button, home button, and power button simultaneously. And then you should see the screen. Now press volume up to access the download mode. Now it is very simple. Now just connect your USB to your device to the computer. Then on your computer, launch Odin. So give me a moment here. So launch Odin. If you don't see this blue bar, then you have to download the Samsung drivers, which is going to be on the description below. And then press AP and locate your stock ROM. Disconnect the USB cable once you see a pass indicator. As you can see, my application haven't been deleted, so you can see right here, all of my application are present and nothing are is deleted. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace.